Hey, Magic fans, welcome back. This is your captain speaking here on Captain Clyde's MTG, and we're back for the final double master spoilers for the spoiler season. Man, it's been a long time coming. It's hard to believe this roller coaster ride is over, but we have finally got to the end. Uh, before we get started with this, remember to subscribe. Most of, my, most of you guys who watch this don't subscribe. It's not much to you. It's just one click, but it's a great deal to me, and it helps the channel a lot. So I will give you guys a bit of a spoiler for the spoiler because it's a spoiler. Anyway, uh, all the last these are commons, so before you uh, turn the channel off, uh, at least thumb through it and watch it to the end, play it in the background. I don't know. Give us some views, please. Uh, but anyway, so we got about 40-some-odd comments to go over. So we're going to run through them really quick because they're commons. Nobody cares. They're all reprints. But anyway, so the trade table and seat backs are full up right position, everybody, as we take off. So first off, we have Capture Sphere. Uh, blue and three, flash, enchant creature, taps it down. It doesn't untap. Typical blue removal. Next, we have Kasimi's Transformation. Or transmutation. This is from War of the Spark. A blue and one to take a creature into a 1 1 with no abilities. More blue removal. Next, we have Carrier Thrall. Uh, black and one, 2 1. When it dies, create a 1 1 colorless Eldrazi Scion creature token. It has sacrifice, gain a mana. I think it's from Zendikar. Next, we have Dis Figure. So, one black, minus two, minus two. Forget where it came from because it's been a lot of sets. Titan Strength. Same thing here. I think it was last printed in Theros. A red to give a creature plus three, plus one, and then scry one. Next we have Kroon Striker. I'm not sure this came from, but it's red one for a two one. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, the striker gets plus one, plus oh, and gains trample. Uh, pretty good for draft. I don't know what that reprints from, though. I don't recognize it. Strands of Undeath. Don't recognize this one either. Black and three enchant creature. When it enters the battlefield, target player discards two cards, and you can regenerate target creature. Very interesting. Skeleton Archer's back from the core set. Black and three for a 3-3. Three, three. When it enters the battlefield, deal one damage to any target. Next we have Forbidden Alchemy. So for a blue and two, look at the top four cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand, the rest into your graveyard. Flash it back for black and six. I think that was Innistrad. Deadly Recluse. Green and one for a 1-2 reach death touch. Basic core set Vanillas. Agony Warp, a black and a blue target creature gets minus three, minus oh, and another one gets minus oh, minus three. I uh, forget what that's from, but it's removal for draft, so, you know. Augur Spree, black, red, and one target creature gets plus four, minus four. Good pump spell and removal. Another good one for uh, draft. Just like this one, Glow Spore Shaman. Black and a green. It's a 3-1. When it comes into the battlefield, you mill three cards. You may put a land card from your graveyard on top of your library. Um, good old Ravnica card. Stagger Shock. Red and two instant. It deals two damage to any target. It has rebound. Uh, don't know where that's from. That's a pretty sweet uncommon. Not going to lie. Pretty good for draft. Next, we have Supernatural Stamina from Theros. Uh, black. Until the end of turn, target creature gets plus two, plus O. Oh, and when it dies, it goes back on the battlefield. Tapped. And then we have Call to the Feast from Ixalan, black, white, and two. Create three 1-1 one, one white vampire creature tokens with a lifelink. After that, we have Spark Mage Gambit, red and one sorcery. It deals one damage to each of up to two target creatures. They can't block this turn. I forget what that's from. It looks like a small Drazi set, probably Zendikar. Ground Assault, green and red. Ground Assault deals damage equal to target, to target creature equal to the number of lands you control. forget what that's in, but it's good removal. Good for draft. Shadowborn Apostle. So this thing's actually pretty pretty hot. Uh, it's finally got a reprint. One black for a 1-1. One, one. Deck can have as many as you want. And for one black, you can sacrifice six creatures. Name Shadowborn Apostle. Search a library for a demon. Put it on the battlefield and shuffle. Uh, it's pretty popular in some decks. These things were going like five bucks there for a while. So I'm sure a lot of people are going to like this reprint. Severed Strands, uh, I believe this is uh, Theros, uh, black and white, or um, black and white, black and colorless. Additional cost, you sack a creature, gain life to sacrifice creature's toughness and destroy target creature and opponent controls. Good for those token decks in Giraffe. Relief Captain, two white and two for a 3-2. When it enters a battlefield, support three, put a plus one, plus one counter on each of up to three other creatures. Uh, I believe that's Zendikar. Anyway, next we have the Scale Blessing. 
white and three, bolster one. Uh, then put a plus one, plus one counter on each target creature you control with a plus one, plus one counter on it to bolster one. Choose a creature with at least with the least toughness among creatures you control. Put a plus one, plus one counter on it. So for four mana, basically you put a plus one, plus one on the lowest creature, then put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control with a plus one, plus one counter on it. So, eh. It's from cons, it's not that bad. Sensor Splicer, white, four, one, one. And here's the battlefield, you get three, three colorless golem. Uh, and it has vigilance as long as you have uh, the sensor splicer in play. <laughs> Wing Coddle. So not one of the best. It's blue, green, and one. So three mana for a 1-1 one, one flying death touch with flash. You know, they uh, in the regular Modern Horizons, they printed one just like this that was only a blue and a green. Uh, it was a 1-1 one, one death touch with flash. And let you draw a card if you had three snow lands. So yeah. Traveler's Amulet, basic land fix. One lay, one tap, sacrifice, get a basic land card, put it in your hand. Uh, Perforos' Emissary from Theros. Ugh. Red and three for a 3-3. Three, three. Bestow six, or bestow six and a red. Has menace, enchanted creature, gets plus three, plus three, and has menace. Eh. Might of Okarosa at common. Look at this. So for one green, target creature gets plus two, plus two to end of turn. If this is cast during your main phase, it gets plus four, plus four. This used to be a rare. It's really been downshifted. Wow. Moving on. Makeshift Mauler, a blue and three for a four five. Additional casting this spell. You exile a creature card from your graveyard. So four mana, four five. Uh, it's basically an Urim Gen for blue. Next we have Liliana's Elite, black and two for a one one. And it gets a plus one, plus one for each creature card in your graveyard. Pretty good for draft. Next, we have Living Lightning, red and three for a 3-2. When it dies, you get to put an instant sorcery card from your graveyard into your hand. Lev Sky Knight uh, from Ravnica, blue, white, and one for a 3-1 flyer. When it enters the battlefield, you detain target non-land permanent and opponent controls. That means until the next turn, that permanent can't attack or block, and its activated abilities can't be used. Not too shabby for draft. Bloodflow a Connoisseur. Uh, I don't remember where this is from, but for a black and three, you get a 1-1 one, one, lets you sacrifice a creature and put a plus one, plus one counter on it. We already know there's a sacrifice theme in this deck for black and red, so that's going to be a thing. Battlefield Promotion, I think it's from the core set. Uh, white and one, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. That creature gains first strike at the end of turn, and you gain two life. Eh. Next, last breath, white and two, uh, white and one, exile target creature power two or less. This controller gains four life. Not the greatest removal card. Even Initiate from Amon Ket. Uh, blue and three for a 3-2 flyer that has Embalm of seven. Blech. I mean, fine in draft, I guess. Knightly Valor. Uh, this again from a core set. White and four. You get to enchant a creature. That creature gets plus two, plus two in Vigilance. And when this enters the battlefield, you get a 2-2 Knight with Vigilance. Not shabby, but not great. Hissing Iguanar. Uh, red and two for a 3-1. Whenever another creature dies, you may have the Hissing Iguanar. Deal one damage to target player or planeswalker. Eh. Hyena Umbra. Look at that. One white. Creature gets plus one, plus one at first strike. And totem armor. If you don't know what totem arm armor is, uh, if the enchanted creature would be destroyed, you instead remove the aura from it. This is going to be an amazing card in draft. It's going to do everything. It's going to slice, dice, make Julian fries. Uh, and then we have Ambuscade. So for a green and two, target creature gets plus one, plus oh, and it deals damage equal to its power to, to a creature you don't control. Good old green fight. Next, you have Anointer of Valor, a white and five for a three, five. Flying, whenever a creature, whenever a creature attacks, you may pay three colors. If you do, put a plus one, plus one counter on that creature. Really good for draft. Just about it, though. Fiery Fall, a red and five. It deals five damage to target creature and has basic land cycling. And I forget what that's even from. Maybe Zendikar? Uh, land cycling means for a red and one, you can basically discard it, search your library for a basic land, put it in your hand. Next, we have Grapple with the Past. This is from the uh, Shadows of Innistrad ish era. Uh, green and one, mill three, then you return a creature or land card from graveyard to your hand. Uh, always good in draft. About as, much, about as all it sees, though. Oh, the Eel Umbra. So for a blue and one, it has flash, a creature gets plus one, plus one, and totem armor. Pretty sweet way to save your creature if you're playing blue. Next we have Quasali Pride Mage. At common. This thing's beef. 
white and green for a 2-2. Two, two, and it has Exalted, which means if a creature attacks alone, it's plus one, plus one. That includes the Quasali Pride Mage, which makes it a 3-3. Three, three. Or for a colorless, you can sacrifice it, destroy target artifact or enchantment. This thing is amazing. I can't believe they bumped it down to a common. Ugh. But hey, what are you going to do? Power creep and all. So it looks like that is all of the cards for Modern Horizons. Ran through them pretty quick for you guys. Got it in almost under 10 minutes. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Uh, stay tuned for tomorrow where we're actually going to open up a bundle from uh, Baldur's Gate uh, Commander Legends just to kind of check it out, see what's in it. Uh, hope to see you there. And don't forget, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, comments down below. is going to feed that YouTube algorithm. It's going to help out the channel a lot, and I really would appreciate it. If you've done everything you can, you still want to help out, links in the description to the Patreon page, eBay store, and a personal email for the store that you can reach out and touch me yourself because I'm tired of touching myself. Anyway, as always, guys, until next time, be kind. And I hope to see you across from the game table.